Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to a completely different video this week, if I'm completely honest with you. I was supposed to be recording a repop with me today. And as usual, I asked you guys on Instagram, you know, what do you want me to talk about? And given the fact that I haven't been here for a week and everything else that's happened, there was a lot of different things coming in. There was so much confliction between what people wanted me to talk about it was probably the, the most conflicting influx of messages I've, I've ever had. So I, I labored over what to talk about and then I put together a list of the things that people were kind of wanting to know about or were asking me or anything else. And I started to think about my response. Honestly, the more I thought about this, the more lengthy my answers got until I realized, look, I can't really report a plan while I'm talking about these things. It's just too much to say. I wouldn't really be reporting anything to be quite honest, there's so much to talk about. So I thought just this once, just this week, I'm going to do a video where I discuss the things that you've asked me, but I'm not going to repot. I'm just going to sit here as I am. Now I appreciate certain people come here just for the plants. That's absolutely fine. I'm not offended. If you're not here for anything to do with me or what I have to say on anything coming up in this video, then feel free to click off. I won't be offended and I will hopefully see you next week. Those of you that do wish to stay today, I will be talking about very briefly why I took a week off, what has been going on, um, and generally my feelings on this channel shall we say. That's the best way I can put it for now. First of all, thank you very much for watching this video right now and thank you very much to those of you that have given me a absolute flood of support in the last week. It has honestly been absolutely immense. I cannot thank you enough. I love you all. I have so much respect for every single one of you that reached out to me, sent me messages, anything. I just wanna thank you very much for your support in that. Now then, I have had many messages, many comments, basically saying, I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of out the loop. Not specifically with me, but with just the general shit that is going on in the plant community kind of thing at the minute. So I had a few of those messages. I also had messages basically telling me not to be negative and not talk about the negative aspects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a kind of rundown as to what's been going on, just for those of you that have no idea can actually have some understanding of just the shit that's been going on in the community, I guess. Undoubtedly, what I'm gonna talk about isn't necessarily positive. So although it's, I'm not gonna talk negatively, I'm going to have to try and walk a line down the middle of this. So I'm gonna try and keep this as straight to the point as possible. And this is not meant to be negative in any way. It's also not meant to be a video defending myself. So I don't want it to come across that way whatsoever. If it does, it does. It's just me explaining my point of view and my thoughts on the whole thing. So. Over the past few months, it's probably quite fair to say that the community has grown and it has changed a lot from what it was earlier this year, should we say, the start of this year, last year, whatever you want to call it, it has changed quite a lot. People used to just spread the love of plants. There was no, you know, you've got to own this, you've got to own that. There was none of that. Fast forward to now and Honestly, I, I've personally, I've never seen anything like it. This, the community was just not this way when I joined this community. Obviously this community was here before me and it will continue to be here probably long after me. Do you know what I'm saying? But the shift that I have witnessed this year has just been horrendous. Long story, very short, people pick on each other for the plants that they own or don't own. People get ridiculed for wanting to own certain plants. They get ridiculed for not wanting to own certain plants. We see huge price increases. Shops can't stock things anymore. So you have hobbyists or private sellers, however you want to refer to them, selling cuttings right now that are worth like, like a one leaf cutting of a plant someone might be selling might be more than a lot of shops, including mine, have sold full plants for. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there has been a huge shift. And along with this shift, there has been a, really you can feel it. And I, I can't be the only YouTuber or, or person or whatever in this position that can feel this. I don't even think, I'll take back what I've just said, because I don't even think you need to be a YouTuber to feel this. I think you just need to be somebody that maybe 
perhaps goes on Facebook and Instagram a lot. If you don't go on Facebook and Instagram a lot, then rightly, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. And a lot of what I say in this video might be news to you. It might, I don't know. I don't know how much this circulates outside of, say, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I really don't know. People have become very frustrated, very angry, whatever, you know, insert emotion here about just basically the fact that they can't get a hold of certain plants and maybe people collected plants before and plants were at a certain price back when these people were interested in them and now they've been inflated and now they're angry. That could be private collectors, it could just be hobbyists, it could be anything. But in general, people are really feeling very angry and frustrated over these price increases. Obviously, right now, in terms of the houseplant market, supply is very low and demand is very high. And that has caused even more anger and frustration, but it's also caused a lot of bad shit to happen, okay? Anyone that doesn't know this, there has been an absolute surge, and I mean a surge of people breaking into nurseries. I don't know if this is more prolific in the US or anything else. We don't really have nurseries here in the UK, not like that anyway. But in general, a lot of nurseries have been broken into and plants have been seized in order to make a profit from. I'm pretty sure that there has been Monstera aurea taken from nurseries. I think there's been a Spiritus Sancti stolen from nurseries. Variegated Adansonia has been stolen from nurseries. It has got to the point, and I said this on an Instagram post, which I will get into in a minute. I said that plants now have the same monetary value as some diamonds. That's not an exaggeration anymore. That might have been an exaggeration if I'd said that last year. Sure, fine. You know, maybe one or two plants might have fallen into that bracket. But it's getting a little bit ridiculous now. And the lengths that people are going to to obtain all of this stuff is, it's not cool. It's dangerous. People are walking around nurseries with fucking guns trying to get these plants. That's fucking crazy, man. That's crazy. It really is. It is due to this, I believe, I'm trying to make whatever sense of this that I can on the inside, so forgive me if this is wrong, but my understanding is recently, over the last definitely three months, but in particular the last month, 100%, my channel has been under fire, well, I say my channel, me, essentially, has been under fire for promoting the, the you know, the hype of rare plants. I am driving these prices up so far that people are fighting over them, people are stealing them and things like that. Because it's not just nurseries that plants have been um, stolen from, it's botanic gardens as well. We've had instances of that. I'm not going to talk about that today, as the plan is genuinely just to give you an overview of what's been going on. If you want to delve into all of this, I'm sure you will find this on the internet quite easily, but that is what's been going on. As a result of all these things, I cannot speak for other houseplant channels. I don't know what they've gone through. But speaking only about my channel here, it's come under fire a lot. I have come under fire a lot. People are basically saying that if it wasn't for me and obviously potentially other influencers that these, this wouldn't be happening, these prices wouldn't be happening and I'm to blame for causing this disastrous effect that the plant community is suffering from right now. So if you see the light around me changing, I'm constantly fighting to not be overexposed. So I'm sorry if I keep getting brighter and darker. It's not you, it's this camera, and I'm just trying to keep it so it doesn't overexpose. Anyway, what I was saying. So myself, potentially a lot of other influencers, I don't know, I can't confirm right now, have had essentially a lot of shit for this. It's keeping it real. We've had a lot of shit for it. I've ignored it for the most part because, I mean, I'll get into my opinion on that later, but, so kind of stuck it out, it was kind of fine. So separate from that, but kind of related, there was an instance a couple of weeks ago where I'm sure a lot of you may or may not know this by now, but there was an instance on a plant Facebook group where in which a member of the group had posted a post to the group, basically inviting people to talk about YouTubers, plant YouTubers that they did not like. And I was mentioned on this. I'm not gonna mention any of the other influencers that were mentioned on this because I don't know if they want to be talked about. I'm not about to do that. But myself and a few other people were mentioned on there. Again, summarizing this, I'm not gonna spend too long on this, but there was criticism 
probably in the very beginning, arguably. I don't know what the other influencers would think about that, but and I don't know what they've seen from the posts of this group. But arguably some of it began as criticism and very quickly it turned into outright bullying. I'm kind of grouping everybody here, but influencers' appearances were made fun of, whether they were too overweight, too underweight, um, stuff about teeth, I think, fashion sense, personality, the way that we speak, even to a point where an influencer's family members were judged and made fun of and ridiculed on this group for everybody to see. Now, the defense of the people in this group, and I could see this because I'm going to be totally real with you, I was watching the whole thing go down at the time. The defense of most people was, you know, these influencers should be able to take this criticism because what they signed up for, essentially, that's it, you're in the public eye, that's what you've got to deal with. You've got to deal with these people saying these things about you and that's just your job. That's basically the point of view that a lot of people had. So without going into any of that, I saw that all go down. I thought it was absolutely disgusting. And I think I only showed the screenshots to a couple of influencers. Um, Pam's Pretty Plants included, because I love Pam. I could go on about that woman for days. She's the most beautiful person. We speak a lot where I would honestly, personally call us best friends. As far as plant YouTubers go, I would call her my best friend, hands down. But I sent her the screenshots of what these people were saying about me and other influencers. It wasn't just me. Um, I believe I may have talked to a couple of other influencers at the time as well about this. I still have these screenshots, but I'm not about to share them today because quite frankly, these people have had enough press from me and from all the other influencers that have talked about them. So I'm not giving you any more press. I'm really sorry. You don't deserve it. I could go on all day about the difference between criticism and bullying, but I'm not going to. We will talk about that at a later date if you want to. We don't have to, but if you want to talk about the later date, I will certainly do a video on it in a report, whatever have you. So anyway, after seeing all this, I just thought, you know what? I have so much on my plate right now that people just do not know about. There's maybe one person that knows what is going on for me at the moment, and I don't need this shit. I don't, I'm so above it, I'm so done. So I made a post on Instagram basically saying, look, it's kind of summarizing everything I've just said to you, basically, in much less words and probably more eloquently. You know, plant community's in a bad place. Also, people are bullying people. Fuck this, I'm out, I'm gonna come back next week. I'm gonna take a week off YouTube and that is why I didn't upload. Okay, I had to close the blinds, it's getting a bit ridiculous now. So. When I called these people out on my Instagram post, I, let me tell you, I've never seen messages, hateful messages quite like this. They were on my comments, they were coming through to my DMs on Instagram, mainly Instagram, admittedly, I think the rest of my channel stayed okay, but it was just fucking nasty and I thought, you know what, I'm definitely going, I'm definitely checking out for a week because I don't need this shit. I didn't sign up to it. None of the influencers did. So my attitude there was basically, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'll see you next week, kind of thing. And that's where we're at right now. So I'm sorry if everybody knew this. I'm sorry if that bored a lot of people to death, but I want to give people that have no insight to how the community is at the moment, um, just, just insight on what's going on really, because I think I, I made a video a little while ago and I spoke about what I thought about drama in the plant community. And I was out of the loop a little bit more then than I am now. And a few people were like, you know, it's only you talking about drama. I don't see drama anywhere. And it's like, this stuff is not drama. It's being labeled as drama. I think that's, that's the issue here. We're labeling theft of nurseries and things like that as drama. I wouldn't say that's drama. I would say that's a crime. And I think there's been some wires crossed there at some point. Perhaps I didn't handle that video very well. So during the week, that I took off from Instagram, from YouTube, everything else, I thought to myself, okay, what could possibly go wrong? Nothing can go wrong here. Wrong. So there was a new kind of thing that happened on Facebook. It was basically just somebody putting out, I'm gonna call it a post, a statement, whatever have you, to a plant Facebook group. I can't even remember which one it was uh, as of recording this. Basically saying, okay, it's time to talk about what's happening in Indonesia. And the post, I will obviously be showing you this right now over me talking, but the post highlighted that 
sellers, some sellers anyway, in Indonesia were poaching plants in what sounded like large volumes in order to sell to other countries, ship them out and, you know, pump their plants into the market and they were poached. That is what I know of that. Due to the messages and the comments and everything else that I'm getting, it would seem that people still kind of are willing to point the finger at me specifically at this point for things like this happening. Because I do a plant haul and it drives up demand and now all these people are going out poaching plants and selling them on and I am fueling that fire. I'm gonna tell you the truth, or at least what everything points to as of right now. So the houseplant market has been booming for longer than earlier this year. If you're new to this, you may or may not know that, but I would say the boom has occurred at least over a year. So from last year to this year, I would say it has boomed. So maybe say last spring or last summer, all the way through to now, the plant community has definitely grown faster, shall we say, in size. It's grown more significantly in this time. Now, obviously this year, things have just gone a little bit out of control and there's just, the demand is too high and supply can't meet it. None of these nurseries can meet the demand. Hence, we are seeing some sellers anyway, go to the lengths of theft, poaching, whatever have you. More and more people are getting into houseplants and yes, recently there has been a huge boom. I'm about to show you something that was sent to me and it was brought to my attention. What I'm about to show you is not my work at all. I did not gather this data, none of this is me. I'm relaying what was sent to me, but an individual created a Google Trends data set, if you will, of some pretty interesting house planty stuff. Different kinds of plants and how often they have been Googled over a time frame. So you've got Monstera, Philodendron, I believe Caladium was on there, etc. So how often these things were Googled. So what you're looking at here is this data over five years. So these search terms, how often they were Googled in the last five years. And you can definitely see a spike there. Now looking at this graph, you can see where the seasons kind of start and end. You will notice just before spring, it dips and then it arcs and then it comes back down again for winter. I would describe that as being in line with the general season of plant trade. For example, people that buy loads of plants in spring and then they stop in the winter. Some people kill their plants in winter, some people just don't buy them, whatever have you. So that is the dips and rises in the graph that you are probably seeing. So assuming that I and I alone or influencers alone or however you want to call it are responsible for this and responsible for this huge surge. I thought about this and this morning I went to my laptop. I took a look at my channel and I've got some dates for you that I'd like to talk about. And I'm reading off my phone here. I uploaded my first video to my channel on October 21st, 2018. And I'm pretty sure that was a houseplant tour, standard tour. The first rare plant related content was my wishlist video, my rare plant wishlist video that I created on the 4th of January, 2019. I continued making videos about rare plants pretty much from there onward. I would say that was the video that really caused the change in this channel for me. I would honestly say that was like the catalyst that drove my channel a little bit. I will admit that looking at the graph there, if you really wanna put it together that way, you can see an increase in certain plants. It looks like it mainly only hit Monstera for some reason. I can only assume that's due to the Thai constellation and the Monstera Albo, but that's it. You can see there is some increase on the graph, technically. For anybody interested, I launched the Rare Plant Shop on June 21st, 2019. And as you can probably see, that didn't really do anything at all. So if we look at the real spike in this graph, the noticeable spike that you can see there, that is clearly around about March, 2020, March of this year. Now, can anybody think of anything that might have happened in March, 2020, that might have caused a little bit of a stir? Let's go over what I was doing because I did take a look at this as well. So in March, 2020, I had a couple of pre-recorded videos because I was in Thailand at the time, if anybody remembers that. If you're new, you won't know this, but I was in Thailand. I came back, I made a video on plant dupes that is on the channel. I did a couple of plant hauls, some repot with me's and a couple of bits of informational content thrown in there as well. So I would honestly say that was reasonably typical content for my channel. Nothing is really that different. So I wonder 
What else could have possibly happened in March 2020 that caused such a worldwide shitstorm to affect that graph? It must have been something pretty big, right? Because it sure as hell wasn't my tan from Thailand. Do you get me? It was obviously COVID. It was obviously COVID. COVID has caused that spike in that graph. And it is obvious it has. Because when you line it up with the rare plant boom, it still doesn't coincide. Even that massive increase, that massive trend for rare plants last year is nowhere near even close to the spike that COVID-19 has caused to the houseplant market. And I believe, obviously, people are now in their homes. A lot of people have brought their offices home. So now they're trying to make their work environment more aesthetically pleasing. A lot of people are doing up their, their gardens, which is like a big thing, by the way. I will link all of this below, but there was another data set created about gardening and that is, that's taken off even more than houseplants has. It's absolutely insane. That's a whole thing entirely. It's not obviously just houseplants. You know, if you looked at other data sets for other things, it'd probably be the same. You know, like people are probably all doing their new kitchens out because they have the time now because they're at home. COVID has affected so much, so, so much. It's quite simple. People are just getting into houseplants. Now, obviously the rare thing can come into it because quite frankly, it's human nature to want to see things you haven't seen. And we're, we're curious individuals and that's how we are. It's how our brains work. We're curious to see new things. We seek out new information. It's how we are. So you could argue that people have come across the more rarer content, the more rarer plants, I should say, either on my channel, on somebody else's channel, on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever it's, it's circulating. It's just coming to light more than what it was. And COVID-19 has been a huge catalyst for that. And I know that's, that's reasonably obvious to a lot of people. I know a lot of people already know this, but a lot of people just don't because I think a lot of people are new to this houseplant boom and they weren't here before COVID hit. And I think that is a lot of the issue. A lot of people are coming in new and fresh and they can't see the sudden impact that COVID has had on this community. They wouldn't know. They haven't been there. Even I have only been there for a year. So even I can only tell you this year compared to last year. I can't even tell you about the year before that because I wasn't in the community. Do you see what I'm saying? And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, yeah, but Kaylee, your rare plan videos probably haven't helped. And yeah, that's, that's potentially quite true. Honestly, I, I can't sit here reasonably and say that it isn't. But let me tell you something. This channel has been a rare houseplant channel from almost its inception basically. It, it, it changed so fast and so quickly. It's been more or less rare the entire way. You can look back on my channel and see this, but my channel has always been a rare houseplant channel. And the name of my shop is the Rare Plant Shop. I'm here to tell you that's not changing. That's not changing now. That's not changing ever. That is who I am. That is why I'm here. That is what I believe in and what I want to create my business. I mean, I, if I'd wanted, and this is no shade, by the way, I'm not shading anybody that doesn't like rare shit right now. I'm basically explaining my own position from where I stand. If I had wanted to sell common plants that all of the other shops at the time were selling, I wouldn't have named it the rare plant shop. My intention for that business is very clear from the name, from the logo, from everything. I, I put so much thought into that, okay? The, the logo for the shop is an oblique. It's not, it, it represents something that is rare. I stand by the decisions that I've made in creating that shop. I stand by the decisions I've made with the direction of my channel. I stand by the decisions I've made to show certain plants on this channel, to make certain content. I stand by every decision that I've made with regards to plant content that I'm putting out there. I don't like using this word, but a lot of people use this word when talking about me. But as an influencer or not, I'm not a fucking puppet master, guys. I'm not, I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you where to spend your money. And I've had such a difficult time working out what I should take responsibility for and what I shouldn't, okay? I'll try and explain what I mean by that. 
So this was noted both in the criticism, probably arguably when it was criticism on that Facebook group that I got that night. And also it's been said throughout Facebook, throughout Instagram, on comments in my videos throughout. There are two different opposing opinions on basically my channel and the, the part it has to play in all of this. And there has been two opposing opinions for a while. Now, I'm going to I'm going to talk about two very polarizing opinions. Obviously, there's stuff in the middle of this. So, I initially had zero acknowledgement of any part that I could have been playing in any of this, okay? Specifically, I'm kind of talking about this here. I had zero acknowledgement of any of that. As a result, I have been called childish, I've been called ignorant, and generally just just not understanding, not developed enough as a person to understand the impact that my videos have on, we'll generalize it and call it the rare plant market, okay? People have said that about me. I listened to a lot of these people and I thought about it and I thought, okay, maybe I do have a degree of, of a, a part to play in all of this, shall we say? And I've mentioned this on Read Pop With Me's and I've said, you know, I'm scared to mention the name of this plant because I think the prices are gonna go up and it's a little bit insane right now. And I did that. And then there was a second wave of people basically saying, oh, wow, so you think this is all you? You're so arrogant, you're this, you're that. This isn't all about you. Well, like you've single-handedly done this, please. And it's like, I don't know how to proceed in terms of what I say and what I don't say. And the rest of this year is probably me gonna be fucking working that out because I don't know. But what I have learned is in my time off, I can never please anybody. I thought I'd learned this earlier on this year, but I'm having to learn it again. I can't please everybody. Everybody has a different opinion on this. The reality is I didn't cause any of this shit, but I probably have some degree of responsibility, but I believe I share a responsibility with anybody that is an influencer or a YouTuber or somebody on Instagram, whatever, on this platform. I don't believe all this shit should just come to me. I didn't walk into a nursery and steal a fucking plant. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not ripping plants out of the ground to sell them. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not telling you what to buy and what not to buy. I'm not getting people to buy wet sticks and shit like that. In fact, I even have a video all about why you probably shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Last week's video, I was worried about filming that plant haul. I was shit scared, guys, especially after I'd just been away. And funny enough, some of my suspicions were confirmed anyway, because I'm pretty sure I got a few comments basically saying, yo, why are you talking about rare plants still? Why, why? Shouldn't you like not be doing that anymore? I'm not changing my channel. I'm still going to go on the way that I was going to. I still have the purest of intentions with regards to just simply showing you plants you haven't seen. I'm not trying to hype anything up. I want to ask you something. If if you've got this far into the video and you still think that I'm hyping this up, then I want to ask you something. So I, I own a lot of these fucking unicorn plants that people keep posting about everywhere on Facebook. When was the last time you saw me put one in a video? And that's before COVID, by the way, just generally on my channel. When was the last time you saw me put my variegated Adansonii out there on camera, other than when I hold it, generally speaking. When was the last time you saw the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti? What about my Instagram feed? Maybe I don't mention it on videos, maybe I'm just hyping it up over there. Why don't you check my Instagram feed? See how many times variegated Adansonii Philodendron Spiritus Sancti pops up. Now, the only plant that I believe I have put to the forefront of my channel a little bit more would be the Monstera Oblica. I would admit to doing that. But the reason that I have mainly put on Instagram, this is by the way, I've shown more images of that plant genuinely just due to the state that I got that plant in. As anyone that was following me from that initial video that I did on the Oblica, that plant came to me in kind of shit shape. So I've taken pictures of that and I, that's for me personally and for you guys, it's more on documenting the progress because I get asked about it all the time. So, and a lot, of, a lot of you do say, can we see more, can we see more, can we see more? But generally speaking, on this channel, I show plants that you can't always get, but I do have a line, okay? I don't talk about prices. Some people love it, some people hate it. Again, you can't please everybody. Do you know what I'm saying? 
I own a few more unicorn fucking plants that people don't know that I own. I don't publicize it because I'm not fucking interested in flexing. I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. They, and I'm not trying to do a reverse flex because I've been accused of that too. I'm apparently either flexing if I put something on camera or I'm like humble bragging that I'm not putting it on camera. I'm literally trying to tell you how it is. I could not give a shit whether I own a fucking Spiritus Sancti and somebody else doesn't. I couldn't give two shits. I bought those plants because I either wanted to own them, I wanted to care for them, I wanted to learn more about them, or in some cases, I bought these plants in order to propagate from them. Obviously. That's not a fucking secret, guys. I own a plant shop. Of course, I'm acquiring certain plants. It's kind of the job at this point. Do you know what I'm saying? But you can do that as a person and not flex about it. And I honestly feel like I can sit here on this channel and say that I haven't flexed about all these plants. I, I don't personally feel that I have. I do my best. Will I always get it right? No, I fucking won't. I'm a person, I'm imperfect. But I do my best to minimize the hype around certain things. And that is actually what bore the inspiration for the plant dupes video where I did the dupes for the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Cause I was like, hey, this is a cool plant. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's rare, whatever else, it's hardly obtainable. But if you really want that, try this instead. That was my attempt at trying to take the foot off the accelerator that has just been causing this ridiculous boom. Has it worked? No, of course not. Because this ain't about me. It's not about my channel. It's just the general thing that is happening. I'm not responsible for it. If I was responsible for it, I'd probably be able to stop it. Maybe. I don't know. I do what I can on my channel, and I'm speaking from the heart here, I do. If I don't know how rare a plant is, I will say it. If I think that a plant isn't rare, it's in high demand, I will say it. In an essence, that does kind of make it rare in that moment, but it's not, it's generally in high demand, okay? I try my best to tell you guys about scammers and things like that in the community. I am very limited as to what I can do there because I accept that I operate within that market. So what do I mean by that? So if I am to call out, for example, in a video or on Instagram or anything, the shady practices of another shop, I can't do that. Because if I did, so many people would either say, A, I was bullying them for the sake of bullying them, I've had that before, or B, I'm just trying to cancel out a shop because it's a competitor. So I would seem disingenuous anyway. So I try and do my best to tell it like it is on this channel, and I always fucking will. Don't worry, that's not going anywhere. I try my best to tell it how it is, warn people where I can. There is a line I can't cross, and it's hard for me sometimes, guys. You've got to understand, so much fucking goes on, and I can't speak on it because it would be World War Three. Okay, I try my best. I honestly, I promise you, I try my best. Generally speaking, the philosophy of this channel has not and will not change. The philosophy of this channel is, hey, here's shit you haven't seen. I'm not gonna command prices, guys. I've been asked to do that. I cannot set prices for these plants. That is, just it just doesn't work that way. I can't do that. I just, there's, there's a million reasons why I can't do that. I'm not even gonna get into it because this video will be like two hours long, but I am not the person to set the prices for these plants. I'm not really a person to speak on prices on these plants because I'm a fucking seller and it's shit that I have to walk this line all the time, but I do and it sucks, but I do. But I will always be honest with you where I can. I will always call out bullshit when I say it, but in general, my plan channel will remain exactly how it is. I will still be showing you shit you haven't seen. If there is a general scam taking place that doesn't involve anyone specific, like a specific seller, like for example, the Congo scam, I will tell you about it and you will know. And I will try and put that across in the best way that I can. But my channel is not gonna change. My channel will still be a rare house plant channel if you wanna name it that. I don't personally, but I think everyone does. That's cool with me. And my shop is still and always will be the rare plant shop. I'm going to continue on as normal. Besides, there is one other thing, and I saw this this morning, and this is just, this made my fucking week. But 
If you look at some of the data linked below and you take a look at the search terms, the top search terms relating to houseplants, you will see another famous person listed there and it ain't fucking me. And I do highly suggest you check out Seth Rogen's Instagram because he actually makes his own pots and puts plants in them and it's the best thing ever. Like I said, it made my fucking week when I found this out earlier this year, but please check him out, he's great. Does that mean Seth Rogen's responsible? Does it fuck? No, it doesn't. Do you know what I'm saying? That it just highlights how far and wide this thing goes. It's not fucking isolated. I know sometimes it feels like it is because of the community we're all in and, it, you know, it's just like that. It's not like that. It's not. This is going to be happening to every single commodity all over the world right now. It's COVID. Take what happened to fucking toilet paper. Do you know what I mean? There you go. That kind of says everything you need to say. Anyway, that draws me to a kind of conclusion. The purpose of this video was to get a lot of shit out there to address everything that I know that is going on, to address my opinions on all of that, all of the shit that went down, what happened on my week off, the direction that my shop is going in, the direction that my channel is going in and everything else. That is the purpose of this video. Yes, it's long. Yes, it's rambly, but honestly, this just needs to come out, get dealt with, and we all just move on because I don't, I'm not gonna address this anymore. I'm not gonna address this bullshit responsibility that I apparently have for all of this stuff. I'm not, I'm just not. Now, of course, a lot of people ask me to talk about different aspects of what's gone on that I haven't actually mentioned. So I mentioned I was taking a mental health break and I haven't really discussed that in this video. I haven't really talked about online bullying in this video. Now, we can talk about the, those at a later date. I, I'm more than happy to maybe do a themed report with me where I discuss mental health and you guys can ask me to talk about stuff. That would be great. I'm totally up for doing that. Me and mental health go a long way back, okay? That's no stranger to me on this channel and that kind of discussion is very welcome here. So if you want to do that, feel free to leave a comment below and we will get that organized and I will put a little box up on Instagram where you can write in your requests on what you'd like to hear me discuss and we will totally do that. Online bullying, I can also do that for. I can make a dedicated video. For now, I'm not going to because quite frankly, I think that these bullies have had enough of my time, let alone everybody else's time. But what I can say is there have been a few YouTubers that have made content on this already, and I'm going to link them down below. Most notably, I think the people I know of as of recording this video, I know Pamela P did a video around about this, um, specifically about the Facebook stuff. And Heart Shaped Leaves did a fantastic podcast on this as well, where she talked about the, the bullying that occurred on Facebook, but also generally being online and how you should treat other people and everything else. And I highly recommend both of those videos. So they are both linked below and check out their channels because they're really nice people. So that's all I have to say about that. I know that's long as shit. I'm sorry I kept everybody this long, but honestly, this is just one of these things where I just thought, fuck it, I'm gonna say it and they're all gonna move on. And if anyone has anything to say, just refer them to this fucking video where I address it. How easy is that? I don't even have to repeat myself anymore because quite frankly, I'm sick to death of doing it. Again, this video is not meant to be the Kaylee Defends Herself video. I know that's probably how it's come across. I'm very conscious of that as of recording this. This is just purely my way of putting my thoughts out on this and explaining where I'm at with the channel, where I'm at with the shop, where I'm at with what I think about what is going on and generally giving people an update of what's going on because it's crazy right now and I hope it calms down. I really do. Until then, I'm gonna go back to my regular content. I will probably do a repop with me next week, given we'll just wait and see what happens on the comment section of this video to see if there's anything anybody wants me to talk about or just generally how people are feeling. I will gauge it based on that. I do have a box of Hoya coming. Hopefully they would be here by then. If they are, I'm happy to haul those. I think they might be a bit delayed in the post though. So I'm happy to do a repop with me and I can discuss whatever you want. My final thoughts are, I hope this video didn't come across as negative. It's not supposed to be. It's really not. I'm just trying to be realistic. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm trying to be realistic and I'm trying to say how it is. Anyway, I've kept you way too long. So I'm very sorry. I will love you and leave you. If you've watched this far, thank you so much for listening to what I had to say today. I appreciate it. It probably took a lot of your time. So I thank you for that. And I thank you for everybody's support that they have given me 
not just over the last week, obviously, just forever, basically. I, I thank you for doing that. So thank you very much. It means a lot. It really does. So I hope you have a great weekend and I guess I'll see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs>